and welcome to the incredible life of cat peanut is in here i was getting kind of set up for everything and he he kept yelling at the door until i let him in peanut and now he's ignoring his mom and today i wanted to go through what i've been warming so i thought i'd start this little series and kind of see how it goes um you guys probably just saw my Sensi video from Monday. What day am I on? Today is Monday and I'm pre-recording this. So um, I'm going to just kind of go over stuff. I meant to do a haul video that I didn't do for Sensi. I also meant to do a warmer and fragrance of the month, which I forgot to do too. So we're going to kind of add those things in. I'm just going to randomly kind of grab from my basket. Um, I have a Dollar Tree basket that I'm putting all the stuff from the past, like, this is a week to two weeks because some of the stuff I put in my other empties and then took out to do a separate video. So this is what I have right now. With no further ado, I'm going to pull these and I have my notes written down here of what scent is what. So that should help a little bit. First one that I have is the Scent Circle. I just put this in my car a couple of days ago and this is Sugared Strawberry. I also have the room spray for this in the car because sometimes they get a little light after a week or two and that way I have it in case I just want to like spray it a little bit in the car. Um, the notes for this one and it is available um, right now. The notes are sugared strawberry, um, strawberries, currants, and sun-kissed lemons. This one I don't have a like anything to sniff with it right now. It's not quite a true strawberry. It's definitely a synthetic strawberry, but it's nice. And I get maybe a teeny tiny bit of the lemon and some of the currant. So throw-wise, if you got it in a wax, maybe about a medium. So it's not bad, but it's there, but it's not like overwhelming or anything. The next one that I have here is Hey Tiger Lily. And this was a scent of the month last year. Um, the way I came across this one, and I have several of it, there was a young man that's a Sensi consultant and he had called a bunch of consultants in the area and I'm the only one that picked up the phone and he did not want money for it. He just, he was going to Vegas so he dropped it off and now I have it. Peanut, please don't get up there. Peanut, Peanut, please don't. My husband and my daughter are home so sorry about that. But on to this, I'm sorry, I'm so easily distracted. This is the Tiger Lily one. The notes are Mandarin Jasmine on a bright sunny day. Um, it's okay. It's a little bit extra floral to me. It's more on the floral side. It's kind of right smack dab in the middle, actually, if I think about it. But I do this in the bathrooms. It's, it is a cleaner scent. It's a brighter scent, things like that. So... I put this one in the bathroom or the laundry room, sometimes in the kitchen if I want something that's kind of on the citrusy side. And I think the throw is probably about like low to medium. So it's not like a super thrower. It's not gonna blow you out of the water, but it's definitely there. I have no idea what those two are doing in there. And the next one I have is a travel tin, which I don't have on me. This is for Polar Bear Hug. And those of you familiar with Scentsy, Polar Bear Hug is formerly Eskimo Kiss, I guess. It is a wintry one. I was going through my stuff and I found it and Sita wanted it because it's a tiny little tin with like gel in it and you can take it in your car, you could have it in your office, you could pretty much put it in any small space you want to. And um, she stole it. I don't know where it is now. <laughs> um, where are the notes for it? The notes are uh, blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. So I'm not able to really tell you how that performs in the scent tin because I don't know where she walked off with it too. The next scent is Amazon Rain. And this was in my last video. Um, this isn't the same bar. This is one that I've been working on. And I finally have the notes to it. If I can find it. And it is currently available. I have the hiccups. I'm sorry. The notes are melon, orange zest, coconut milk, and night blooming jasmine. So this one is a really nice fresh one. I don't get a lot of the coconut. I get a lot of the night blooming jasmine, orange zest, and what was the other note? Some melon. Not heavy on the melon, but it's a really, really nice mixture. And this one is pretty strong. It's a heavy thrower. It's going to, you know, 
two cubes in a warmer is going to blow you out of the park. I really like this one. I actually think that we're warming it in our bedroom right now. But that is a 10 out of 10 recommend for a fresh scent or a fruity scent. That is something that is one of my favorites. That is in my Scentsy Club. And we'll get to that pretty soon. Um, I'm not going to talk to you about Whiff Box today. That is completely separate from Scentsy Club. But that's where these came from. These are Cloudberry Dreams Washer Whiffs. They're pretty old. I found them when I was going through my stuff. So I decided to use them. In the notes it says a raspberry, rose, peach, and vanilla. It was okay. Um, I only put them in the washer, so it kind of faded. It went okay. I used Gain with it, so these aren't my favorite. I used to use a lot more of the laundry, but now um, I might get the laundry bars that you can put in the dryer or the dryer discs, I guess. And the reason for that is because for some reason with dryer sheets, they end up out of the basket, out of the, out of the dryer, and Hudson gets a hold of them and just like tears them apart, and it's probably not good for them. And that bar is a little easier for me to keep track of. So once I'm done with my, you know, the laundry stuff that I have right now, which will take an eternity, um, I'm eventually going to order some bars. But I do have some dryer discs that I have um, in there already, so we're going to use that too. The next one is Banana Nut Bread. This is currently not available on the Scentsy website, but it was a Bring Back My Bar last year. I used to only place orders once in a great while. I've been like on a bender for Scentsy, so I've placed quite a few orders. And the notes for this are ripe bananas, nuts, and spices. And this is pretty dead on. The reason I like, I actually like this better than the banana walnut from Bath and Body Works. And the reason why is because I've noticed after a while, banana walnut starts to smell burnt. Um, I like it still, but like when you get to the very end of it, it smells really like a burnt banana bread. And I don't really care for it. Plus, there's a lot of soot in that candle for some reason, at least the one I have. But this, this is excellent. I have this one warming in the kitchen right now. And I would 10 out of 10 recommend. It's one of my favorites. And this is kind of like what they call a Scentsy Heartbreak. And the reason why is when they discontinue stuff, you don't know if it's ever coming back. With wax bars only, you can add them to your Scentsy Club. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that today. Next item is an Atlantic Air, and this is one of those scent packs that you could put in the buddies. I had this in my car for a couple of weeks. I put it in there a few weeks ago, and it lasted like, I think, three weeks or so. The notes on this one are Ocean Mist, Sea Salt, and White Orchid. It's not a favorite, but it's a nice scent when it comes to like fresh fragrances. It's one I would use, and if they brought it back, I'd probably just pop it in a regular order. It's not something that I'm going to die if I don't have it. Um, it's currently not available on the Scentsy website, but I had it, so I wanted to use it. Next item is a 25 watt bulb. I had to change out the bulb in a warmer that I put in the living room. And another one that I'm going to show to you, if I can get it in there, or get it out of here, is I went through a shimmer, and these are Scentsy pods. I don't have the actual pods with me. But they're a little plastic container with scent beads, the same scent beads that go in the scent packs. And we have these mini fan diffusers. And basically, you plug your USB into your computer or into your car, and it does come with a cord. I don't have the white cord to this. I have a cord from the Dollar Tree for this right now. But it has a little fan in there, and it blows the fragrance all over the room. And it smells really nice. These are really nice in the car for long car trips. Um, I used to have a bigger one in my car when I used to commute back and forth, but since I don't, I just leave a scent circle in there now. Let's see. Ah, this is Tahitian Twilight, and this is actually the July scent of the month for Scentsy, and the reason I grabbed one of the flyers was so I could show you what, that is what the warmer for the month looks like. That picture probably doesn't do it justice. Uh, the notes on this are coastal waters, passion flower, pineapple, and white woods. So to me, it's not that much pineapple. The throw on it is definitely not a powerhouse, but I'd say it's like a medium to powerhouse. It fades throughout the day. I had this warming an entire day in my office here. And then the rest of this bar, I actually made a couple of samples for, for my neighbor and for my sisters. You can smell a hint of like the pineapple, I am definitely picking up on the florals 
and a little bit of the ocean. I see coconut water in there. Um, there wasn't any coconut water in there, but I, I don't know. Maybe it's the coastal waters that's making me think of coconuts, but it's a nice one. It is right on the borderline of too floral for me, so I will use it, but I probably wouldn't purchase it for myself, I'd say. Um, definitely something I'd have to be on the fence about. It's a nice scent, and I'll still warm it, but not something I think I would I would normally pick. The next item is Atlantic Air, and we went over that with the scent pack, and this is a Scentsy wax bar for it. And this one I've been working on for quite a while. I'm just um, kind of grabbing whatever and whatever I'm in the mood for um, and trying different mixers and stuff too. I think you guys might have seen that on my community page. The next one is Stargazing, and I believe that this one is available on the website. This is Sita's favorite. For me, I'm kind of on the fence about it. It reminds me a lot of Jammy Time, if you're familiar with that one. But Sid really likes this one, so we have another bar, actually, that we opened after this that we have going in her room. And the notes for it are star kiss petals, fluffy cotton, soft vanilla, sandalwood, and white musk. So, I like it, but I like jammy time better. This one is really past being like a powerhouse or blowing you out of the water. This is extremely strong. Sido will have it going in her room and the door will be shut and you can smell it down the hallway. So if you don't like the strong stuff, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. But if you don't mind it, this one is actually a really nice bar. I prefer Jammy Time because it has freesia in it rather than, I think, what was this one? White Orchid, White Musk or Star Kissed Petals. I definitely prefer Jammy Time over this one, but it, this isn't a bad one either. When I purchased it again, once I'm completely out of it, Maybe we have a couple more bars anyway, so we're gonna have to wait and see. And then something that I did because I don't do like a lot of parties and things. Um, and the man, young man that dropped off the stuff for Sensi, he had some, um, the reason he did that was because he didn't want it to melt on the way to Vegas. And he had testers that he gave me along with a bunch of Sensi bars. My kid knows I'm in here, so she's making noise in there. But um, I separated them so I don't have a bunch of duplicates. And the ones that were older, broken, melted, had problems, I'm melting in my warmers. I just pop them out with a knife. Or I, if they won't come out, I just set them upside down in the warmer for a little bit and then just take the plastic out. The one I'm doing in the, in the did I write this down? Um, the one I'm doing in the living room right now is Apple Teeny Splash. And TJ told me it reminded him, made me, just the name made him think of JD from Scrubs. I don't know if anyone really watches that show besides us anymore. But do I have it written down here? I do. Uh, the notes are green apple, Nash pear, and a splash of simple syrup. So I can, I can smell the combination, but it's definitely heavy on the apple. I don't really smell the simple syrup in there. But I like this one. It is a nice a nice apple. It's got kind of like a sweetness to it. I wouldn't say crisp, but sweet. Um, I don't mind it. I might. I think I have some bars of it coming, actually. So I'll be able to give it a little bit of a better review. And then this one was just Amazon Rain. And this is the one that I put in my office this morning, or my bedroom this morning. So <clears throat> don't mind me. I'm breaking in a new bra, so I'm not sure how I feel about this thing. And so the last two items... Um, I found these in the back of a drawer in my closet in here. I didn't know I had them. They're not good anymore. There's a sugar cookie. This is really old. This is sugar cookie body lotion. When we first moved here, I remember it smelling fine. And then I don't know how it got in the back of the drawer, but it did. Um, the notes for sugar cookie I do have. Um, obviously I'm not going to use these. I know they're still full, but I've had them for so long, but it's, they're to the point they're probably gross. A sugar cookie is not available in the website right now, but the notes are butter, sugar, and creamy vanilla. That is a really nice scent. I think I've mentioned that also on my community page, but it's a really nice one. And the other one is a sea salt and avocado body cream. So when it comes to the body products that Scentsy has, I'm not really a huge fan. Um, I do have some shower gels. One is open, the rest are not. So I'm going to use them. I'm going to finish them up. That I don't mind. I don't really care for their lotions or their sprays or anything, so I probably won't be buying them. I like 
Bath and Body Works quality and fragrance is a bit stronger than Bath than Scentsy's is in theirs. The name of this one is Sea Salt and Avocado. I believe that this is available on the website, but I want to show you, I they do make that in a brick. And I want to talk to you guys a little bit about these bricks. Um, this is a really old one and it's kind of gross on the back, but this is a brick compared to a bar. To get a brick, they are exclusively, look at that sizing, that's five and a half times this. They are exclusively in the Scentsy Club. And this one I got a while back, long before Scentsy Club started. And it's pretty old and it's about halfway done. But I'll show you what the back of a different one looks like. This is Skinny Dippin'. I know these are a little dirty and funky. And the reason why is because these did not do well in the move. I don't know how they shifted, but they did. But um, the wax inside is just fine. This is what the back of them looks like. And I just cut them up. I just cut them in, in threes, each little brick this little piece of this and one day I might do a video on how to do that but those are exclusive to the Scentsy Club and I wanted to give you a little more information on Scentsy Club so it's a little more clear we know that it's a one month every two months or every three month type of subscription it's completely free to get a subscription you can actually change the dates like say they give you the date of you know like March 1st Okay, you can change it to like March 5th, March 13th, stuff like that if you wanted to. Um, I know that you can only skip it once a year for each one of yours. Otherwise, uh, you're just going to have to cancel. But the good thing about it is um, you can always get your bar. Like say um, Banana Nut Bread comes back again in the next catalog or in another Bring Back My Bar campaign. I can add it to my Scentsy Club and then when they discontinue it after that campaign campaign is over or that catalog is over, they will still be pouring this size wax of banana nut bread for me. So if I see this come back up again, it's probably going to go into my Scentsy Club. Um, since I have all three subscriptions, I don't know which one I would, go, I would put it in. I will determine that at that point. And um, let's see, they have consumable products only. So you can't buy the same warmer over and over again, or like a Scentsy Go or a Scentsy like little fan diffuser over and over again. But um, it's for stuff like the room sprays and the scent packs and the scent, mostly the Scentsy bars, but you can also exclusively purchase bricks. You can also add in a whiff box, but a whiff box is different from that. And I'll make a video on that because I did order one outside of my subscription and I will I will do that in a different video. When you have like $30 or more in your cart for your Scentsy Club, you start getting a 10% discount. And then if you have $60 or more, you get one, on top of that 10% discount, you get a half price item. And what I like to do is I add in like scent packs and circles or sprays and a lot of bars. And then after I've got all that, if I'm up to $60 for my half price item, I get one of these, I get a brick. And the reason why I do that is because a lot of their bricks that they have, they do have kind of a limited options on what fragrances they have, but they are some of my favorites. So that way I'm getting a lot of it. And my sister, my sister always wants bars. So I wanna have my favorites in the big brick. Um, I do have quite a few bricks that I need to finish. So I'm making a point of like, I'm gonna put my sea salt avocado as one that I want to work on a little bit and then I might switch it out for a different set but I think let's see is there anything else we do have different brick promotions and with that what they do is like they'll come out with a promotion where say you know they have like these three cents in bricks instead of just bars and you can purchase them only for that month or something like that so that is kind of how it goes um I think that's everything for the empties for what I've been warming and I just wanted to give you guys a little more details on the Scentsy Clubs so until next time I'll talk to you later bye